Hey guys, Crewman here, and I have to admit, I have been so busy prepping for CES and the future plans for my channel, along with, you know, doing the dad and the husband thing, that I have not been up to date with all the latest news that has dropped over the two weeks, over the last two weeks regarding Blackwell. But one piece of news that has raised my eyebrows and caught my attention was that the 5080 would only have 16 gigs of VRAM. Now, I know a lot of people are going to get mad at this, but when I heard this, I actually said to myself, finally, a Halo SKU GPU that the consumers can actually buy. What do I mean by that? Well, stay tuned after a quick word from today's sponsor to find out. Today's video is brought to you by PC Bros. They offer custom gaming PC builds that fit any budget. And if you don't find a system on their website or in their store that fits your needs, they offer a custom build consultation service to help design the perfect PC for you. On top of that, PC Bros offers a one year warranty with all their parts so you don't have to worry about anything breaking as soon as you bring it home. Use code CRUITMAN for 2% off your next order and thanks again to PC Bros for sponsoring today's video. So. When I heard this story, and credit to WCCF Tech for this one, because this was where I actually had heard it first, it basically said that the RTX 5090 will have 16 gigs of GDDR7 memory. So, I, you know, I looked at the specs that they had shared on this article, and I'll put a link down below, and then I kind of tried to compare them to the 4090. I had asked rumor leaker Red Gaming Tech for his opinion on it, and he basically said, if I had to guess, the 5080 will outperform the 4090 across the board. We've seen this historically, if you compare the 4080 to the 3090, etc. So I did do some research and I did do a little bit of quick testing on my own. And I basically did find that, that the 4080 was about 25-ish percent faster than the 3090. Again, this was just a quick rough test, but you can YouTube some good some videos along the way. And I also recommend subscribing to Red Gaming Tech's channel. He does a great job sharing some leaks. So anyway, after doing a little bit, you know, of digging and basically finding out everything I needed to know, I decided I was going to do this video because I'm actually happy that it has 16 gigs of VRAM. Now, I'm sure you guys are rage banging away in the comment section down below about how, you know, mining sucks and how AI sucks and how gamers can't have anything nice and how this is awful for gamers. But if you look at the reality of the situation we live in, believe me, I'm not happy with it either. But if you look at Exhibit A, right, the RTX 4090, it released with an MSRP of $1,600 on September 20th, 2022. What do you think this thing is selling for now on the used market? Keep in mind that if this thing is over two years old and we are on the cusp of a new generation. So you could basically say that the 4090 is outdated tech at outdated tech i say it in quotation marks outdated tech at this point well what is this thing going for in the used market if we look at sold listings on ebay you can see that this thing's selling for 2000 1800 2000 1850 1900 i'm not looking at any you know any cheap listings because they're usually scams 1900 2000 2000 2075 the point is that these GPUs are literally selling for more than what they were at launch. And do you know why that is? That is because of the high VRAM and every person using AI wants it and crypto miners want it as well. But mainly this is from AI. Don't totally blame the miners on this one. And if you look at all things tech, the 4090 is essentially one of the best stores of value over the last two years. I mean, it's literally gained money. Like if you own a 4090 and you've gamed on it for two years, you can sell it for more than you paid and just go buy yourself a 5080 or a 5090 in, I don't know, two, three weeks, whenever they launch. And for anybody who doesn't know, if you've been maybe living under a rock or something, the problem with the 4090 is it's high VRAM is what makes it so desirable. Like guys, what do you think is going to happen when the 5090 comes out? Now these tech power up specs, these are all rumors and nothing has been confirmed, but 32 gigs of GDDR7 memory. You guys are never going to see this thing on shelves after the first day. Basically just pretend this thing does not exist for gamers this is going to get bought up by every ai and user and every crypto miner and you're never gonna see it so 
You guys must be saying, okay, Crute, get to the point. Why are you excited for 16 gigs of VRAM when that's half of what the 40 or the 5090 has? Well, do you know why Crute's excited for it? Because I don't think you recall ever hearing the words 4080 shortage. Did anybody hear that? I think there might have been a 4080 super shortage for maybe like a week, but you didn't see those things going out of stock really that much. So what I'm excited for is if the leaks are true, and I don't know if they will be or won't be, we'll find out soon enough. And say you get like a 20 to 25% bump uh, with performance of the 5080 over the 4090, then gamers can finally get that Halo GPU that they've been waiting for. You know, how many people skipped the 40 series and how many people even skipped the 30 series because they couldn't get them? Now's your chance to buy a Halo SKU GPU that's, you know, going to be the best on the market short of the 5090, which, like I said, isn't going to exist, so you can just forget about it. And with no competition, supposedly, from AMD, that means that the 5080 is essentially going to be the best gaming GPU that you can buy. And with 16 gigs of VRAM, you're not going to really have AI users who are going to want it. Now, I don't really want to get into a discussion about price in this video because that's for another debate. But the point is that 16 gigs of VRAM means all of the AI users will leave you alone. I don't know if you guys have checked, but crypto mining isn't exactly booming right now. So it looks like, thankfully, that the 5080 should be a GPU that short of artificial shortages that NVIDIA creates, which there's nothing we can do about that, it looks like... This GPU will be one that gamers can easy, easily, and I use air quotes, get. And it's all because of that 16 gigs of VRAM. And while normally you could say, crude, well, I could just buy a 4090 when it's going to be cheaper. I don't think that's the case because we go back to the VRAM count. I honestly think that you're going to continue to see a shortage of 4090s because, as I already said, the 5090 will not exist. So every a person who needs a decent AI GPU We'll scoop up the 4090s. One, one other thing I want to point out is, have you guys seen a 3090 Ti used? Not really, because all the AI users scooped those up and haven't released them. They're using them right now to do whatever they want to do with AI. I don't even know what people are doing with it, if we're being honest. And I feel like I'm more in the loop than most. So don't, don't hate the messenger and don't kill me for saying that we should be thankful for 16 gigs of VRAM. Now, we could get into the VRAM debate. But that's not the point of this video. But, 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 since it's my video and I'm filming it, which is pretty cool, I'm going to tell you that in my opinion, 16 gigs of VRAM is more than enough for 4K gaming. Now, at this point, you're probably raging at me when you say, why should we be thankful for AI farms and GPU miners taking up our GPUs and forcing us to accept 16 gigs of VRAM as a standard we should be happy for? Well, on this channel, I pride myself for telling you the cold truth. And that's the, just the reality of the situation that we're living in. There's a lot more money in both of those things compared to just PC gaming. Not everybody can afford to spend, you know, the thousand dollars that we hope the 5080 is going to cost. Just think about that. We were excited for a thousand dollar GPU, guys. Like, that is absurd. 99% of the world can't afford to spend a thousand dollars on a GPU. So look, guys, if you don't like the situation that we're in and you're not happy with NVIDIA, then do the only thing that you can, and that is let them know your displeasure with your wallet. Don't buy these GPUs. Go buy an Intel Arc B580 or go buy a 7900 XTX and put your money where your mouth is because that is the only way NVIDIA is going to listen. Anyway, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm right? Do you think this is utter nonsense, the situation that we're in? Tell me in the comments down below. I really, really want to know what you have to say. And by the way, if you're still watching and you guys think that all of this insanely expensive PC part talk is nonsense, go head over to PC Bros, today's sponsor, and go see what kind of budget rigs they have. They have rigs to meet any price point, and you can pick them up with a one-year warranty. So thanks again to them for sponsoring this video, and thanks again to you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.